Hello and welcome to episode 46 of the DBS Let's Play series. I've solved this issue with NEI. I can actually search up things now in here. As you can see, if I just do a quick little search, it actually works. And this carpenter, uh, what just happened is a little progress bar went up and it made an impregnated casing. Cool. So we at least we got this thing working now. The seed oil is actually, as you can see, it's working pretty well. So the bee thing is working pretty good. But as I said, what, what I was going to make before the guys was those apiarist pipes. Now I'm going to keep one of these guys handy for later, as I may well need it. Is our quarry still going? No, it doesn't look like it, but I'll uh, sort that out later. What I'm going to make is an apiarist pipe. Is that still in the pack? The pipes. It might it might be something different actually now, but it used to be like a golden sort of pipe that bees would be allowed to go into. Do you want to have additional pipes? I think it was part of additional pipes. Hmm. We've got lapis pipes and daz dazzazuli pipes. Root painted items, paint items, only touch with the pipes destroys items, gate controlled extraction pipe hmm I don't know if it's actually in the pack anymore though guys that's a kind of annoying for what I wanted to do but I, th I think I know what we're going to need and we're going to need one of these things these are lasers and what these do are, are, is they're basically they are crafting components from Billcraft Silicon. I believe they are sort of thermal expansion-y as well though. But for that we're also going to need the assembly table to go along with it. And we have everything to make it here except this diamond gear. So I'm going to need to go ahead and make myself one of these gears. Let's see, iron gear, stone gear, wooden gear. Let's go along the line. Of making all these gears. Let's see, so we need a stone one next. I really am going to set up an automatic crafting recipe for gears because they are a little bit of a pain just to keep doing this every time I want something. Is it stainless? We just got an achievement. I don't. Oh, no, it's made of honey. How come I've just got an achievement for making diamond gears? Is, it, is this the first time I've made gears? Time for some logic, but there we go, guys. It, apparently, it's time for some logic. But what I need to do is plug this guy into some power. Wait, I'll just hook him up to I don't know here. I'll put him down, and what I can do is, for example, let's get some redstone. Don't really know why I'm searching it up, but if I just get one little piece of redstone, for example, here, put him in there, click on that, that'll make us a redstone chipset. And I'll see this laser begin to get primed up. Here he goes, he was going from red to blue. And blue is when he's working the most efficiently, but it's pretty, pretty slow. And the more lasers you have, I believe there's actually a quarry plus mod, which adds a few, which adds a, the laser plus. So I'll just get some of these, and some energy conduits. I will say the more you have there, the more power they will use. I'm going to put them in sort of a bit of a grid formation. So, I'm going to put them maybe like this. Yeah, that, that looks good. This also is just a te little temporary system though, so I'm not going to have it permanently like this. And I can see they're all now focusing their energy in this guy. I can see he's going a lot quicker now, but he'll, he'll use a lot more power. And I he does actually output to an adjacent inventory. So you'll need a chest or some kind of something like that to actually catch his items. So I'll put the chest, I don't know, maybe there. And you know, I think I want to make this into a better room though, because I keep using this and treating it like a room. So, do I have any cobblestone or anything? Or the cobblestone bricks? Yeah, I think I'll use these guys because. You know, I've just realised I've never actually done anything with this with the flooring in here, to be honest. I think I'm just going to have the uh, bricked floor. 
tonight's probably dri driven you insane, guys. The fact that I've just had a really scruffy looking basement under here. I've had like amber ore and cobblestone and just and then every kind of block that really generates under here. I have not really fixed up and made it look nice. So I figured I might as well make a bit of a sort of mini attempt at it. You know, make it look se semi nice here. Because it looks a little bit. I wouldn't want to say it looks scruffy, but it just looks a little bit untidy. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit of stone here. But how's this guy go doing? Oh, he's got 10. So I can see that farm is working pretty well. I'm just going to add a little bit more of this stone. I wonder if this will be enough to completely do this floor. I don't think it will, but we might as well try, right? No harm in trying. Yeah, looks like we're just a little bit short, so I am. Oh, it placed in the wrong bit of cobblestone. I guess it's there, just called cobblestone, and they're just chiseled cobblestone. I guess it just sort of treats it as the same. So I'm just going to go and get some. Uh, go upstairs here, get the chisel. Get these bricks, put, put that back on there, and go and just finish up my floor. So we're going to see, I've just done that little thing, and if you ask me, it's looking a lot nicer already. So, I just want to move this guy just one block there. Oh, I forgot I need to get my Yetta wrench, because he's being a bit derpy and not connecting right. So. Where's a Yetta wrench? Here it is. At least I think you pronounce it Yetta wrench. Might be Yetta wrench. I'm pretty sure it's Yetta though. Connect that up there. Put him back on there. So now, what? Well, you know, why do I even have that there? In fact, I know why I've got that there. I'll just put that back. I think that's to stop my drawbridges going over the top. But they all have eleven. Uh, blocks in them now, so I don't think that's actually an issue. So I will just make that stone and put. I think I'm just going to make this area like some. Like I'm actually going to put a wall around it, as opposed to just having stone sticking out everywhere. Yeah, that's looking a little bit nicer, if you ask me. So I've got we've got the um, that there. I might put some actual covers and stuff around it. But I think that looks nice for the time being. There's also a few things I could do. For example, uh, maybe put some of this around here. But yeah, for now, that looks top decent. But as I was saying though, I want to automate this farming stuff upstairs. In fact, yeah, let me just sleep because the apiary, I want the bees to just be able to go an infinite cycle and, you know, I think just some, uh, if I just quickly get myself some glass, some gold. And just quickly get myself some gold and pipe. I think I might be able to get something going. So, if I just go upstairs real quick and then I, say, put a pipe here. I might be able to do something like this. So the bees, in fact, you know, they actually need. I think they. I think it's an autarkic gate, not a basic gate. Iron and gate. Mm. Are they still in the pack? You know, I don't know actually because there's tons and tons of gates, and they require. Um, sometimes it doesn't actually tell me how to make these gates. But what you need is like a redstone chipset and then maybe a redstone mm -hmm. iron chipset or something and then you can make the gates. But what I'm actually going to need is some iron mm. and some glass. I think I have a bit of an idea of how I want to do this. So let's get myself some wooden planks mm. and a little bit of glass 
you know, I've got a better idea as opposed to using gates. I think for you something called a redstone engine. Yeah, I mean it's a sort of like semi basic version of doing it, but it works just as well in the end. I'm just make myself a piston here. If, it, if it'll actually uh, let me do it. There we go. And can I mix you now? Oh, well, a little bit low on oak wood. Just to uh, craft some up here. And I could do some sticks as well. And the redstone torch. Okay, so let's go and put this guy in action. So, what I want to do is something pretty cool. Uh, that is, if I just put a wooden transport pipe there, a resident engine, if if you used to play um, like the older Beat the Beast, then you probably will recognize some of this system. So, if I build something that looks... Am I going to be short one pipe? Wait, no, I'm not sure on pipe actually because this guy needs to be an iron transport pipe. And I think I can use this. Can I use this? Yeah, I can. So, what's going to happen is I need to block that. So, what will happen is stuff will. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if this will work or not because what I want to do is things come out here then be able to go into here and go out there, just not return through there. Hmm, you know, I think I might have to do this a slightly different way. It would be a lot easier if I had this apiarist pipe, but, mm -hmm, meh, it's fine. I looks like I have to deal without additional pipes. I would like that to be in the pack, though, to be able to have the apiarist pipe, because it made life so, 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 so much easier. I'm just going to quickly um, run out, rush out here and do something like this. And you're probably wondering why am I doing this? Well, it's because I need it to go two ways, really. So, yeah, that's what I really want to do. So, they come out here initially and then they get sent around there and then they will be in an infinite loop of being. Yeah, will that work? Hmm, that's still not quite going to work. Because I need it to where the bees will attempt to go uh, into then. If they can't, they will just continue around the cycle. In fact, you know, I don't know if I actually need one of these guys here. I think, I think if I just do that, then it will infinitely loop. So I'm just going to turn on this engine. I know this, it looks a little bit messy, but this is just a very basic system. So you see now these bees being put in here, they're going to be pulled out, and then, where, so you can see they're going to go around there, be put around there, and then they're going to go into, there's going to be a chance they'll go into there, and if they can't fit in, they'll just infinitely loop. So it looks like a drone's gone in there. Where's the princess? There you go, the princess has gone in, and they're breathing. The problem is this guy is just going to be continually looping around the circuit. But, it's fine. I mean, that that is basically the bees will automatically now produce us more and more cool stuff. They'll now imp they'll do it without us having to be there. How's our tree farm doing? Just as a little thing, I'm a bit curious. Wow, this guy... Well, we're, we're definitely filling up pretty quick, to be honest. This guy's a uh, somewhat of a good durability. I was thinking using Steve's factory manager, but it's really, really complicated. But you know what? I think we need to do something really cool, guys. Oh, I've already got it on me. I want to look at a little bit more Botania, guys, because I think that... You know, we're doing a lot of machines lately and not too, too much magic. And I want to get into a little bit of that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get this guy 
and let's have a look at what there are. So basics and mechanics. This is also going to show us a lot of the stuff of what we're going to need. But I'm going to see to what the petal apocryphy is. I want to have a quick look at a few things. In fact, what's a mana star? Hmm. I've not really actually had a look at this botany stuff too much. I've looked at uh, a few things on it. So functional flora, uh, the exo flame. I believe that's the opposite of an endo flame. Uh, how instead of it burning stuff to make mana, it sort of does it the other way round. Mm. I don't know. But I think I want to get into a little bit of magical based mods. And I thought I'd be right back, guys, but to fi find something that looks good in the Lexica Britannia. Okay, guys, so what I was looking at is the portal of L5. This is basically the, your really end game thing with Britannia. Now, I think I want to get started on it a little bit. Because I thought that, you know, why not try and go for this just you know get it started so I'm just gonna go in there make some of this is a pretty expensive thing to do to get this portal of L5 but I think mm. I wanna do it I don't think I'll get it all done this episode but what we need to make are these terra steel ingots so if I just shift to see the rest it requires a beacon base and how much gold do we have I believe I could use nine gold blocks. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine. What I was more concerned about was the actual beacon. As beacons are pretty expensive, as you know, they require glass and nether star, which requires us to go and kill a wither. This is a peaceful mode only recipe, though, guys. Now, do we have any wither skeleton skulls? Yes, we do. I want soul sand. We don't have any soul sand, looks like I accidentally turned it all into uh, into what into the uh, soul glass when I left it in the smeltery. So it looks like guys I'm about to go on a bit of a hunt for some soul sand. Mm. Don't think it'd be too hard. You know, should I fight the uh, wither in the nether? Would that be too bad of an idea? Might as well, I'm sure it's just a home realm. So that's also yeah, a portal, but where's a linking book? I believe I have turned mob griefing off for um I'm sure you guys know why I've turned it off. It's it'll be very devastating if I didn't. There'll be holes everywhere and ooh, there's a saddle and some gold horse armor. Cool. And, ooh, and another chest. Diamonds, iron horse armor, and another saddle. Cool. Wasn't expecting to find those guys, but let's build this with then guys and get this nether star for this beacon. Well, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I hope I am. So this guy, oh wow, it looks pretty crazy, but I think our armor should be able to hold us up against this guy. I don't know though. How, how's our epic sword gonna do? Well, this sword is just owning him. But things we're getting owned as well, if you look at our health bar over there. I think I might just be able to kill this dude before he gets me. I don't know though. I'm, we're both on pretty low health here. Ah, oh, looks like I've been blown up. <sighs> okay, and looks like the game's gonna crash. Yep, looks like we've a uh, client multi part not found. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, it looks like we've crashed. And I honestly don't know what to do. I think I might have to go and uh, nick my original plum sword out of this case, get myself some armor. Do I have any armor? Nope, not really. So I think, guys, I'm actually going to have to go and fight this dude without any, well, not fighting necessarily, but just get my stuff back because that was pretty terrible what happened there. So, it looks like the wither's still uh, poking around in there. I'm, hmm, I, I don't really know how, how I want to go around this. Well, I, his health is pretty low though, and I just can't actually get up to him at the minute. I might just be able to break some of this overgrown netherrack, hopefully. I don't know why my game crashed there, that's what's a bit of a mystery. I probably should have brought my pickaxe, to be honest. Because I'm just having to break up here. 
I did, I did figure though, it, I mean it's the nether, I will need my sword. Hmm. Maybe finding this dude in the nether wasn't the best idea I've ever had of the season. I just thought it would be a semi good idea because... Ah, oh, I'm on fire again. I need to stop burning because it's just killing me. Right, so my, it looks like I died in here. If I do die again though, guys, I will just try and get to this guy off camera because... Ah, oh, no, I'm gonna die. Ah, okay, so it looks like I've lost my plum sword. And guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've just fought that guy. I can say I did somehow survive on half a heart. It was pretty crazy, and this guy gave me a miniature yellow heart. If you ask me, that is pretty cool. A nether star and a division sig sigil. Whoa, that was one intense battle. I died quite a few times, had to delete a lot of waypoints. But I think I didn't do too bad considering how difficult the wither was. I might need to make a different sword with him though, to be honest. I mean, he's pretty overpowered. Uh, I, th I was thinking of maybe a... Um, like a, a like a rapier sword, as they ignore armor, and also that they attack as quick as you can attack. So, they're pretty cool. So here you go, I can actually uh, get out of wisp mode, and that's what I, I used to uh, get him. I just snuck upon him in wisp mode, and was like, hey, you ain't killing me anymore, so I'm just going to remove these two death waypoints. And I believe my work in the nether is done, but that, guys, was pretty crazy. I don't wish to be doing that anytime soon. At least this plum sword though, it does actually do more damage than this plum sword. So I'm just gonna hold shift and right click on this guy. Put him in, and there we go. So, there's a point though I do need to eat some food, as, or I will die. Even the overworld seems pretty deadly to me now though, but yeah, I think I need to give the nether a little bit more prepared next time because that, guys, was pretty damn crazy. I believe though I now can make my beacon, I was thinking mm. of using some, uh, in fact, how much dark matter do I have? What's happened here? That was weird, I had like a stack of uh, beacons there. Mm. I've got some dark matter, and how many diamonds? I think... Hmm, I don't... Uh, that's... Uh, yeah. That's qu quite a lot of EMC though, so I think I might just be able to EMC enough diamonds to make a nether star. So if I just put that in there, maybe put 26 in, is that going to be enough? Or is that going to need a few more? Here we go, another nether star. So guys, yeah, I don't want to be doing that for a very long time. I'll leave him in there, as he can store a lot of EMC. And do we have any more bee problems? I think, though, when I leave, the bees actually um, despawn, which is kind of annoying, though, to be honest. I really hope that is not the case, but it looks like it is. So, let me now, mm. let's make this beacon, where's my nether star that I had on me? Did I leave it in the EMC machine or something? Yeah, I did. I was like, oh my god, have I just lost my nether star? I'll say that, that would be pretty terrible if I did. So, let's put him in there, and here we go, a beacon. Wow, that was pretty bad. I cannot mm. believe mm. I've actually got him, finally. So, I'm just going to put him, I don't know, about maybe here. This seems pretty good, right? Put the beacon on top. There we go. So, it, obviously, you can like do these power things. I don't know how beacons work, to be honest. I'm Bit of a noob when it comes to vanilla Minecraft, anyways. So, if I look at the Lexica Britannia, it tells me that I need a man of steel ingot, 
which I am 100% is just one of these guys inside a mana pool. There we go. And what else am I, do we need? So we're going to need a mana diamond. I believe a mana diamond is just a diamond in there. Not too, too hard. And also an ender pearl. So I'm going to need an ender pearl and a diamond. So I'm just going to need these two guys to put into here. There we go. And what do I do with a beacon exactly? What do I do? Just uh, does it tell me in the next couple of time what to do? Creating terror steel. So it just says these guys inside a beacon. So I just chuck them on top of something. Is that how it works? So you put one of these. So do I just do this? Like that. Is that how it works? Oh, some weird particle effects happening, but I believe by ring of magnetization stop the process happening. It's kind of a bit of a pain. So let's just, uh, but yeah, something's definitely happening. For some reason I can't throw this. Is this just a phantom? Yeah, it is. So do I think to leave it there to infuse or something? Or... I don't know actually what I need to do. It just says to put them on side there. Do I just maybe right click the beacon? Haste, speed resistance, jump boost. Hmm, I don't know actually what you have to do guys. I might have to look, look into this a little bit more. Do I just tap it my one of the forest? Is that going to work? I don't know, maybe I just need to leave it? I don't know. But I think I'll come back to that. If they, hopefully they won't despawn or anything. But, at least got that working. I can harvest my living wood now, so that's pretty good. But yeah, as I said though, I said I was going to make myself a rapier, which is a really good way to attack a, wi a wither. Mm. Now, I believe to make this, it requires... Oh, it, it ignores armor though, so it can actually uh, get, through, get straight through someone's armor. If I just get myself the materials then, you the this book. But let's go through to rapier. It requires a sword blade, tool rod and crossbar. So the crossbar, I think I'll make that out of paper. Those paper crossbars are awesome. Not a shovel head, a crossbar. Do I have a crossbar? Do I need to make one? I think I need to make a crossbar one. I believe this is a crossbar. Is that a crossbar or is there actually a different one? Wait, no, yeah. So I, that's, I need that one instead then. So I'll get a paper crossbar. The sword blade, you guys cannot probably guess, it is definitely, without a doubt, been made out of manulin because manulin is awesome. And a tool rod, yeah, we'll go with manulin again because manulin is just has a really good tool rod modifier and it has really good damage as well. So this is going to be a great sword. I'm just going to not put him in there. See, do we have any manual in here? Yeah, two ingots. Perfect. Let's put him in there. And this guy in there. Here we go. So now I've got a manual in tool rod and a manual in sword blade. These guys done anything yet? Would appear not. I hope they don't despawn after five minutes, because that would be uh, terrible. Yeah, and the reason I'm making it out of the amount of paper is the simple reason that it, or well, the crossbar I'm making out of paper, because it adds, and we call this, with a killer. With two exclamation marks. And this guy, does not, there's not much really to look at, but trust me, once this guy gets going, he's going to be really, really powerful. So if I just want to get myself some quartz, I am... Um, but what if I got myself a hardened resident energy cell? Mm. Can I make one of you? I need to make a leadstone one first. Let's see, leadstone... And for a hardened one, it requires some invar. Here we go. 
So now I've got a hardened energy cell. This is going to be the first modifier I'm going to put on him. So here we go, redstone flux. So now he's also going to be charged with the power of redstone flux. Let's put him in here. He isn't actually going to charge anymore because he's not in my inventory. But I'm now just going to put this up. That dirt. I need to put some quartz on him. I'm probably going to need to put a little bit more, on, more than that on him. But th this guy really is cool. So as you see, it has 2,000 durability and it does 3.5 hearts of attack. You're probably thinking, that's terrible. So guys, it looks like I have run out of quartz, so I'm going to have to go and mine a little bit up in the nether with my awesome electrical pickaxe. I really like the idea of this, so this can crush a creeper, right? I'll just show you what he does. So, he just attacks him like that. So, they are really, really cool. So, if you're just attacking a player, maybe in a PvP map, or not map, but maybe on a PvP server, and you just really want that, you know, attack bonus, all you need to do, if he has like maybe quantum armor or something, or some kind of ridiculous influx, uh, flux infused armor on him, all you need to do is that. Just get a rapier, put some pretty good modifiers on it, and if he, if he doesn't have one himself, he's going in for a real shock. But what I also want to do from the tiny is make a pendant. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to fit it in this episode, but next episode I'll make a pendant which may be resistant to fire. So in the nether, I don't, I don't know if you can get a wither affecting pendant. I mean, that would be pretty cool if I could get one that protects me against wither damage. Alright, so let's just tackle, let's just tackle with the skeleton, and there you go. And see, I'm, I've not even put the uh, modifiers on it that I want to yet. So guys, I'll be right back once I've got to mine up a bit more quartz. Okay guys, it would appear that my items that I put on there have despawned. So I might have to look into Britannia a little bit more. I've got 35 of these blocks. Now, now you know, I don't know whether to actually put a uh, looting on it, but I think what I'll do is when I'm attacking the wither, I will attack him initially with this and then finish him off with my crazy looting sword. Does that sound like a plan? That's to me. So there you go, just five and a half the heart's damage now. I really hope this is enough quartz to actually get him to be fully maxed out. Yeah, that looks exactly the right amount. Perfect. So here we go, he's charging up. This isn't going to be also my normal sword, but he really is good at just attacking like mobs just like crazy look. Like I can just go like up to him and just, you know, it's just a really crazy thing that, I mean, it ignores armor, and if you ask me that, it's just crazy. But if you're attacking tough guys, that like mobs, Always remember to finish them off with your looting sword. Unless you put loot unless you put lapis on here. So thank you for watching guys. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And as always guys, take it easy.